Hello everybody. Welcome to another installment on my 2012 season of peppers and tomatoes. I want to start this video out by showing you that I've got my first flowers growing in my garden. These are called bloodroot. They just opened within the last couple days and these flowers are about three weeks early this year. We have just had some spectacular weather where I live. Very unusual weather, but that's what my state is known for. It's unusual weather. And here's another look at another clump. This one looks a little better. It's a very nice flower, but they only last about a week. But this is a native wildflower to my region and my garden's full of native plants so I'll probably be posting some videos on those later but there it is welcome to spring okay so here we are I'm out in my backyard And as I said before in my previous video, now I'm going to separate these plants and transplant them into these 16 ounce cups. I've made the hole just like I said before. So that's what I'm going to be getting started on here. Okay, so here's my setup. I have my cups, my plants, a damp paper towel just for temporary to store my plants when they get separated and a bath of water today is about 60 degrees outside so it's a good day uh, it wouldn't probably work as well if it were a hot day like 80 degrees or something like that so I'm fortunate that we have a nice day today so here's the bath of water I'm gonna separate this clump off camera and then I'm gonna separate the next one off on camera to show you how it goes okay that went way better than I thought it was going to so I just submerged that ball the root ball in the water and after a little shaking here they are I'll do the next clamp uh, clump on camera and in the meantime I keep these roots covered with a damp paper towel like I'm tucking them in for bed okay so I'll set up my tripod and I'll show you how that goes okay so here we go that last one went really good so I have a feeling this one's gonna go really good too so basically you just get in there, you're being gentle. I'm just shaking it a little bit. And you saw how close they were. Now you just take them and as you shake like this, you just gently pull apart. You don't hardly need any force at all. And you just keep shaking like this. That last clump that I did, I bet you I didn't break any roots at all. But even if you did break a few roots, chances are they'll be able to come back from that no problem. <clears throat> so this one's being a little, a little more stubborn than the other one, but it'll come. Every time I shake it, every time I pull it a little bit, it's coming a little farther. There we go. No problem. Nice roots. There you have it. All right, how about we do one more? Some roots coming out here. So again, plop that in here. Just start shaking it. 
I think this is my purple beauty bell pepper. Never fails, you make a video and you got some guy in his motorcycle back there. I'm holding them at the very base, as you can see. Sometimes it happens really fast, sometimes it takes a little more, but you know, you don't need to hurry up. Don't do it if you're in a hurry. Every time I shake these, they separate just a little bit more. There they go. Nice. So I take this, shake, shake, shake. And they go, just like that. Just like that. Very easy. I wait till the stems are nice and strong. You wouldn't want to do it any younger than this because the stems are weak and you might have a chance of breaking the stem and then that would of course ruin your plant. Can you see this? Tiny little bumps here. That is little rootlets that if you plant this stem deeper, those will sprout and help with your root ball. I'm going to be burying them this deep. So up to the first set of leaves. So it's gonna be it's gonna be buried in the new cup just like that. So here I've got three different cups separated. I'm going to be doing this one now, but not on the camera, since you've already seen that part. So the next thing you're gonna see is me planting one of these guys. Okay. This is my last plant. I debated on whether or not I should do this part, but I might as well. I've done everything else. Here's the plant. Just gonna show you how I put it in the cup. Just a little bit. Take that. I just hold it between my fingers like this. down to the bottom of my soil here so I gotta I think I gotta use my hands. This one's wilting a little bit. I completely expected these to wilt. They didn't last year though. And the other ones I'll show you in a second they're doing just fine. A little wilting's not gonna hurt anything should come back no problem. If they are wilting, you may want to just keep them out of the sun until they come back. Just keep them in a room, a lit room, instead of under a light or uh, in the sun until they come back. What I'll do later I won't show you, but I'll just take a spray bottle with some water and just clean off the leaves. But there it is. That's all there is to it. And then I use the the uh, two cup method again. So 
hole, no hole. There it is. So here they are, all done. They're gonna really start taking off now. Now I'm just going to put these in the windowsill. I'm done with that light box. Um, I had two points I wanted to ask about, but I forgot one of them. So maybe next video or something else. But the one thing I remember is uh, there's a viewer of mine on YouTube, and he told me a story about how he took some seeds out of a pepper and he dried them for one day and he planted them and they sprouted and to me I had no idea that that could be even possible can anybody else verify that I'm not calling him a liar or anything like that but I just didn't think that that was possible so a seed after a seed being taken out of a pepper dried for one day and planted and it sprouted that's my question before I go I just wanted to tell you something I've started composting I had these two garbage cans this one's just used for storing stuff but this one here I decided I'm going to make into a compost bin so what I did is down on the bottom here I drilled holes around for circulation. There's, there's holes drilled all the way around it and on the bottom. I'm not sure if I need to make holes on the way up here. If you've got any tips on that, I'd be happy to hear about it. So there it is. Maybe sometime in the summer here it'll be done and I will be able to use this as fertilizer, compost. Anyway, Dad. that's the last thing that I wanted to say, and that brings my video to a conclusion. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for future updates. Thank you.